So, welcome to Bad Food Blog. This one's a bit of a weird one because I'm actually starting off with making an ingredient as opposed to making the main food. This is going to be part of what I'm adding today. This is a shaped fried egg in a very little pan. Because this little shaped fried egg is going to be a tiny bit poached with this lid and is going to be part of the ingredient for the special. And this special is, I'm going to pimp a rustler's burger. I have a slice of bacon I've already cooked. I'm frying an egg and I'm making this into a breakfast burger. I'm even going to fry the little burger in here, toast the bun, I'm not gonna microwave anything and I'm gonna make it taste as good as I can. What do you reckon, Max? Good idea? Mm -hmm. Because this is the last one I'm probably gonna get for a while. Because there's queues outside the shops. I had this one in the fridge for this video and it's Sunday. We are in week, oh, we're in day 11 of our isolation because my wife has had a serious cough during the COVID-19 outbreak. And you know, this is just what we do here on Bad Food Blog. We're making bad food better this time. We got plenty of bad food to come because- Like, like bacon. Like a bacon sandwich. That's that's bad food, but we've done bacon sandwiches already. Oh yeah. Okay, so keep watching, and uh, this little mini frying pan is for making eggs into nice shapes. It's kind of a bit like poaching and a bit like frying because you actually steam most of the egg with the thing on top. So you can see it cooks and it makes it the perfect shape and size for a burger. Yeah, but you can make an egg bouncy. Yeah, of course you can make an egg you, bouncy. You, you have to take the yolk inside of the egg and then and then you have to do some stuff with it. Okay, so we'll be back when this is cooked and I'm putting the burger together. I'll show some footage of frying the stuff as well. So here we are, the egg, like literally two minutes later, is ready. There, it's a... Uh... Well, we're gonna... well, it's not quite ready. You can see when you wobble it, there's a little too much wobble there, which means it's not quite ready. Although the top is steaming, we want it to cook all the way through. I don't want there to be any runny whites. And what we have already is bacon. Yummy, look at the delicious bacon. Mm, mm, mm. All the fat glistening in the light. Yep, bacon is one of the best foods on the planet. <laughs> so we'll be back in a second. Let's have a look. Are we doing better? Oh, yep, yeah, we're getting there. Oh, yeah, so the yolk's still a little runny. That's perfect. We'll take that and put it on a plate. Back in a minute. Yeah, here we are. Let's put that there out the way. Let's put that down and let's get the next part going, which is, I don't normally cook in this position, but, ah, oh, the lovely smell of a part cooked burger. Well, I'd say an actual cooked burger, but instead of going in the microwave, he's going in there. These two, they're off to the toaster. You should hear them click. There. And here's the rest of our ingredients. We have the cheese and that. So, let's continue with the breakfast burger makeup. Let's take this away and put it on the presentation, please. Mm. Doesn't actually smell half bad cooking it this way. Oh, if I could only express to you the glorious smell it's making. Mmm. Wow. It smells wonderful. I've got to say, this is the best smelling Rustler's Burger I've ever done. I would say, as you can see here, it is... Mmm. It actually looks and smells like a proper burger. And if you're gonna cook Rustler's burgers, frying it in a mini frying pan appears to be the way to go. It didn't release much fat. It smells absolutely amazing. Right, I believe. Put this breakfast burger together. Now, I believe the way I would do it is I'd put the cheese on top of the burger. Cheese, whoops, there we are. The cheese is on, it's not so well done. 
then the bacon which is still hot I shall be using that <clears throat> and then the egg which is still hot and then the relish Mm. Giving the Rustler's Burger the best chance. A strike of pepper. Quick round of pepper. Let's uh, move that around with the bun. And there we have it. A pimped up Rustler's Breakfast Burger. And it smells amazing. That is pretty much incredible. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I'm definitely cooking my burgers from rustlers like this from now on. Mmm. Look. All the yolks come out. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that tastes amazing. That is the Pimped Up Rustlers Cheeseburger into a breakfast burger. And this has been Bad Food Blog. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll try to do more of these, although some of these food blogs coming up are going to be fairly interesting because I'm running out of uh, bad food. I'm kidding. I've got loads of tins of bad food, which I bought before all of the shops started having massive queues outside. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and stay safe.